Talk, talk to me. WSRadio.com This is Radio Band, Diego. Your band's reveal with your host, Florentino Buenaventura. Oh, yes, that Sunday, and it is Radio Band Diego, powered by the mighty WS Radio Networks, brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rental, where you get your gear if you're out on tour or even if you're a corporate uh, entity that needs to have audio and video and lighting. That's where you get it from. And our friends over at Pitbull at PitbullAudio.com, they just want you to play it loud, and we're going to be doing a little bit of that today because we've got an amazing band in, in here. Uh, and if you need to, to, to get a little bit more of a, an educational process in the music business, we've got Stars Align at StarsAlignNow.com. Larry and Margaret will help take care of that, and they'll actually help you with a, uh, you know, action plan your career for, for, the, for the music business because they've been doing it for quite some time. And then for those, those students that are, are just getting into it, or even uh, uh, you know some of the seasoned people, we have California Music Studios, and they're providing teachers to, to students for throughout the, the, the Southland here. And we've got a great band here with us. It's one of San Diego's favorites, and they rock it out. We have seven trains. Say what's up, guys. What's up? Hey! Happy Woo! Father's Day. Happy right, Father's Day for sure. We're here. Yep. They are here. And you know what? This is actually a special Ban Diego because you guys have an amazing CD that you've launched. You've got a video that complements that. We're going to have that on the site. And we're gonna, we want to actually spotlight the CD today. Usually we have live groups. But, you know, I think everybody's heard you guys live. So we want, this, we want them to get to, to know the CD so they can get out there and, and support you guys. Very cool. So we have here, we've got uh, Eric Horton on guitar. Yeah, he's, uh, let's see, Sir Eric Hortensio is out today because he is homesick with the flu. So he wasn't able to make it. Ouch. But I am Joel Matoza. I'm the drummer. Drummer? Dino, and Dino, the bassist. John Campos, vocals. Uh, Jeff Paremba, the uh, better guitar player. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> you got Sorry, a right and the most modest as well. There you go. <laughs> And the most modest. That's awesome. <laughs> so you guys got a few songs that we're going to play here. Um, John gave us a couple here. Uh, we've got, a, got them queued up. You want to you tell us a, the, about the first one, John? Uh, which one we got up first? Uh, on the list, Paul. Change? Change, yes. Uh, actually, that was the first song that I wrote. Uh, Eric and I, when we got together, we wrote that song. And um, that song was just, it's just about the political unrest and the inequality that's going on. Oh yeah, it's and in the world today, it's pretty pretty relevant. I think it's been it's uh, relevant, uh, you know, today. And hopefully, I I hope things start to change. Yeah, because yeah. I see a lot of change going on. I see people starting to wake up. Yeah, well, you guys are helping that out. Let's go ahead and get a get a little bit of that passion. There. Crank it up.
Awesome yeah. job, guys. Great job on that song. Thank you. Great production. Nice guitar playing. I'm all about the bass player. Of course, that's because I'm a bass player. So I'm with you, Dino, <laughs> <Right>, man. Yeah. <laughs> so let's cue up the second song, guys. Cool. Uh, what, Paul, what's the second one on? Bittersweet. Now, that we have our video on that one, uh, Bittersweet Seduction. Um, and we did our uh, video uh, with Rich Varville out in Ramona. It came out really good, really pleased with it. This song is just about the power of female seduction. Oh, yes. And right. I like to call it the magic of Punene. Oh. <laughs> is that allowed? Can I we think say so. That? I guess so. Because I didn't say the other thing. Yeah, it's a different language, so that works out. Go ahead and <laughs> kick it off, Paul. It's, it's a whole colloquialism language. <laughs> Seven Train on Radio Ban Diego, powered by the Mighty WS Radio Network, the worldwide leader in internet talk, and today in CDs, because we've been rocking that. We are brought to you by SAR Music Equipment Rental, where all the pros get their gear for touring and for local fun stuff, as well as the corporations needing audio and video and lighting. We've got Stars Line Now and Music. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com Thank you for listening to WS Radio. Improve your business and your life 
with useful information from experts and thought leaders. WS Radio is radio with ROI. You may have heard me brag about Progressive Medical Center and just how much they've helped me with my health. And Dr. Goley, one thing that you've helped so many people with is migraines. Unfortunately, there are millions and millions of Americans who are suffering with migraines and headaches, and they're debilitating because it affects the quality of their life, and they cannot function properly. At Progressive, we get the root cause because we understand that migraines could be caused by nutritional deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, believe it or not, delayed food sensitivities. And once we determine what the real reason is, we put a plan of action together with medication that we get them off slowly and we put them on an all-natural approach and the results are amazing. Incredible. I mean, there's so many people that can say they don't live their lives with migraines anymore thanks to Progressive Medical Center. And that's what's exciting and rewarding to us as physicians because we help our patients take control of their health and that's why they're living well. Why don't you get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today? Don't live in pain. Don't have migraines anymore. Just go to their website, ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. This is your life. Live it well. In the military, things can change in an instant. The Navy Mutual Aid Association, we understand because it's our life too. That's why our dedication to serving the life insurance needs of our military veterans and their families is unrivaled. Navy Mutual offers superior life insurance protection without military service restrictions and limitations. A single focus on providing the peace of mind military families are looking for. That's what we do. Navy Mutual, ensuring those who serve. Call 800-628-6011 or go to NavyMutual.org. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, CEO and founder of VinVillage.com and the Wine & Dine Show on VinVillage Radio. Do you have a wine, event, product, or service to promote? Then contact VinVillage.com to reach thousands of wine lovers across the country. VinVillage connects like-minded wine enthusiasts with unique and exclusive wines, events, products, and services. To learn more, contact us on VinVillage.com. VinVillage is where wine lovers connect. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. Be sure to tune in weekly to Vin Village Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. Talk, talk to me. WSRadio.com This is Radio Band, Diego. Your band's revealed with your hosts, Florentino Buenaventura. All right, we are back. This is Radio Band Diego, powered by the mighty WS Radio Networks, brought to you by P- by SIR Music Equipment Rental. Uh, we have Pitbull Audio at pitbullaudio.com, Stars Align with Stars Align Now.com, and of course, California Music Studios. Ooh, this has been a fun day, and we've had some great music, and we've got the band Seven Train in the studio. Woohoo! Yeah. So, right you know, on. guys, we played a couple of tracks, and, and uh, one of the tracks is going to have the video. We're going to put the video up on our, our show page as well so that people can feast on that. Uh, tell us, you know, you guys have been playing for a while. How did the band get started? Should I take that one? Yes, Joel, that's you. Okay. Uh, basically, so we all had this, um, we've all been friends for many years, and we had this uh, friend of ours named Big Vinny who Frenemies. was kind of, well, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> um, we had this this buddy of ours named Big Vinny who was kind of a local sound man in the San Diego area and bass player who passed away. And uh, there was a tribute show that all of us kind of got together and performed at at Brick by Brick, a uh, memorial show, I guess I should say. How long ago was that? 2012, okay. um, something like that. And uh, so these guys did a bunch of cover songs, and I kind of went up and we played Snort and Whiskey by Pat Travers. And... It just felt good, and afterwards we were like, well, maybe we should, you know, kind of get together and do a, do an album and put some songs together and see where it goes. So we did that and had fun and put the record out, and it, uh, I think the first week it was out, um, it charted like 36 or 37 on CMJ, um, wow. Hard Rock. And, um, yeah, we just kept rolling since then. We did our album release party at Ramona Main Stage opening for Michael Shanker. Okay. And um, we've just been going ever since, and now we're starting to work on the second album and have about, uh, I don't know, eight or nine songs written for that and hope to have that out soon. Cool, cool. And actually, I might add that we also opened up for Pat Travers. Oh, yes. Yeah. Which oh. was kind of cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah that, that was that really cool. Awesome. One song that we did, you know. Yeah, yeah. kind of brought it all, you know, full circle, but then it kind of revolves around again, yeah. right? 
Very that, cool. That is cool. Yeah, Ramona Main Stage is doing a lot of cool things with groups out there. Yes, yeah, they're very supportive. Yeah, great, yeah. great people. We want to see people go out there. You know, it's a little tough because you know San Diego doesn't really know about it as well as they should. So we want to kind of give a shout out to Ramona Main Stage and Absolutely. tell people to come out. And, and yeah, it's a great go. venue. It's really beautiful, and uh, they have some great shows. We're doing our show with Saliva, July thirty first. Yep, it's yeah. going to be a great show. I mean, uh, Sled. Us, um, saliva. The, it'll be a lot of people there. It'll be a lot of fun. Yep, come on out. Yeah, I think that uh, we had the boys from uh, Sled on. They were talking about that show, and they were really excited to play with you guys. Cool. A lot of good friends. I think there's a good community that seems to be fostering around the, the you know, the, the hard rock metal, you know, tinged flavor here. Yes. Oh, who are some of the other groups that you guys, uh, you know, kind of play with and gig around town with? Uh, I know we uh, did the Skid Row show with um, Black Star Writers. Okay. Oh, but you were like local guys? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we just... played with like Brad Ellis, oh. uh, actually Ronnie Lee. Bra- uh, Brameth. Brameth. <laughs> and uh, quite a few tribute bands. And I always get out and, and um, see other bands all the time. Uh, a friend of mine in, uh, I don't know if you've had Six String Outlaws over here. Oh, we did. We did. We yeah. Last week, yeah. Uh, Ron, he's crazy. I love him. Yeah, he is. So uh, I was hanging out with him and Kiki. And then um, last night I played at Rancho Bernardo End and actually Peter came out. I was playing acoustic. And um, uh, Peter from Sled came out. Brett Ellis came out and hung out with me, so it was cool. Yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. a cool little close niche of you know supportive people that all kind of you know play shows together, and it's really pretty nice to you know kind of have that family vibe. Yeah, exactly. Because John wants to make a, a family vibe with uh, with Ronnie and her special Robert Plant spot. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I want to kiss. I want to kiss Ronnie. Thanks a lot, uh, Ronnie. We heard all about that, Ronnie. I'm yeah. I'm going to kiss your special spot. Oh. Don't tell anybody though. Oh wait, I just told everybody, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Great. I had to bring that up. It just we have such fun conversations in between when the Robert commercial Plant's going to be jealous. Yeah, he will be. You know, that, it's not been it's not been washed though. That's been confirmed. So. That is a little. Yeah, <laughs> I might have to spray it with some Lysol disinfectant or something. I'm not sure. Robert Plant's will, hand. <laughs> <laughs> that will ruin the whole thing. Though. But anyway, you're right. Uh, getting back on track about the music. <laughs> so, where does the inspiration for the songs come from? Where do you, where do you guys pull that from? And is it everybody writing it together, or is this a uh, you know like a couple of players writing it, and then everybody kind of comes in on the production side? Well, you know, this record, it was it was mainly Eric and I, and then everybody came in and then, you know, uh, put their touches on it and yeah. cha- made a lot of changes and improved the songs dramatically. But um, and um, on the second one, the second record, it's it's just a collective. Everybody's yeah. collective on this. Awesome. So it's, it's, gonna, it's really cool. I'm really excited about the second record. Um, but this one, um, you know, it's just a – it comes from just like – Thinking about ideas of uh, what I want to say or a theme on something like uh, the song "How Does It Feel?" That's you know I love western, so I, I I like you know I love Clint Eastwood and I I love that movie Unforgiven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the outlaw feel from the uh, from the video. Yeah, and yeah. so so I wrote that that song um, you know about an old uh, gunslinger at the end of the day at the end of their days, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so that was that's how that song came about. Sometimes it's like you know that the one like uh, change. It's it's a political, mm-hmm. politi- politically motivated. Uh, so is Carry the Cross. It's more political. Yeah, yeah. You know, some songs are about love and you know loss, and um, you know, there's a song about you know dealing with depression and and things like that. So yeah. I have a couple of those songs too. That is that is awesome. Yeah, and musically, also, I want to I want to chime in is on the first record, like John was saying, you know. Him and Eric wrote the majority of the songs and the music, but you know, in the collective and the you know, all our influences combined for this next record, it's going to be much. I think it's going to be you know a lot heavier record. Um, Definitely. And yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, it's it's um, we have so many influences. Like I think all of us listen to everything from like reggae to you know Pantera to Earth, Wind and Fire to Burt Bacharach, and it's like you know when you get all that in one room it's kind of like okay where can we go yeah, you know yeah. once we have a riff it's like we it's like the world's the oyster you know you yeah, can yeah. do almost anything yeah speaking i mean that kind of a good segue for where i wanted to go jeff who was your like first artist that inspired you to play guitar uh, and if you could talk into the microphone next to you i know it's not uh you know of, of, of that's good like a million other people of course i, I was influenced by you know eddie van halen um yeah, but amazing. there was also, you know, Ted Nugent, um, 
all kinds of different players. I mean, I get asked that a lot. Like, who's your favorite guitar yeah. player? And it's like, pff, it's, it's a million of them. Yeah, yeah, and, of them. and it depends on what kind of mood I'm in too. If I feel like listening to blues, you know, or going, you know, Robin Ford or, or you know, that kind of thing. But um, you know, I guess that Eddie is probably that one. Maybe the, the main guy. Yeah, that everybody can eruption. identify with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know mean, that's when I heard that. I, I still have to take off my some... hat whenever I hear that on the radio. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Brilliant. Crank it. <laughs> so we're gonna go on the line here, John. Besides uh, Ronnie's uh, special spot and Robert Plant touching that, what 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 was your inspiration for singing? My gosh, you know, my inspiration for singing. I just uh, I was always like that. I was a little kid who would always get up in the morning, get my cereal, you know. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have a television for the first. M- my mom and I, we didn't have a lot. Of, we didn't have any money, yeah. and so we only could afford, and you know, a turntable, you know, to play records. What's that? What's that? that? I know exactly. So it's we, a DJ thing. yeah. So I would get up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I would put on, you know, like uh, Sergeant Pepper's, you know, okay, um, or any record that was handy, you know. Um, uh, and I, I just would. That was my escape. Like I, yeah. would, I just fell in love with music at that moment, and it took me on this incredible journey. And and I would just sing. And uh, I mean, I remember at five years old, I would I was singing in a Christmas concert. Yeah. I'd sing an Oh Christmas Tree, and I was five in the choir, all of us little kids singing. I'm in kindergarten, and I go, Mom. I go after the after we played. I was like, Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Uh, did you hear me sing? And she's like, well, you know, you, you're singing with like 60 other kids. And I'm like, I was the loudest one. You know, <laughs> I was the loudest one. So like from there on out, that's pretty much how it went. I was I was always singing. I was always, you know, I played sports too, but I was always singing and in choir. And I've always had this love for music. And I mean, my main influence for singing is, you know, Freddie Mercury. Oh, man. I amazing, love Freddie. Talent, yeah. Um, you know, I listen to a lot of Foreigner and, you know, uh, Roger Daltrey is a great singer. Yeah. I love Roger Daltrey. There's so many great singers, but I also love listening to, you know, all kinds of, um, you know, R&B because uh, my my stepdad, Larry, always was playing uh, old R&B records, you know, yeah, so yeah. I was listening to the Spinners and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, these guys are bad. I mean, they're awesome. And uh, so, you know, that's how Stevie Wonder. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Stevie singing. I love his playing. Yeah, you yeah. know, I saw Stevie come down and play in L.A. He came up on stage, just sat in, played the harmonica, did a solo for 15 minutes, didn't run out of one idea. I mean, like, just kept going. His his melody, his yeah. uh, sense of melody. He just and his understanding of phrasing with all that too is just amazing. He he was amazing. And then I was like, oh yeah, that's why they call him Stevie Wonder. I mean, he's he's <laughs> an amazing talent. So. Yeah, yeah. I just th- always love music. Th- th- those are all great influences, and I think it's interesting to have the diversity that you guys are talking about because a lot of people we've had young, you know, uh, we had uh, Michelangelo Batio come in, and we had a metal kid that loves metal so much, and he wouldn't listen to anything else. And when Michelangelo Batio was talking about his influences, it was Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, it was you know all these great blues Absolutely. characters. Yeah. So you know he had some some uh, some the some things to, yeah yeah exactly. So we're going to be taking a pause for the cause here in the next few seconds. We're going to come back and find out who Dino's influences were, and uh, I'm hoping that I, I'm going to make a request. I'd like to hear Big Bottom from uh, from Spinal Tap as as a song remake on your album. So just for you, man, <laughs> that for might you, happen. You know, <laughs> Hello, Cleveland. <laughs> so can, can you play? Can you play uh, bass, Jeff? This has been the Radio Band Diego, powered by the mighty WS Radio Networks and brought to you by SAR Music Equipment Rental, Pitbull Audio, pitbullaudio.com, Stars Align at starsalignnow.com, and of course, California Music Studios, where they're teaching the next generation of rockers to come up. We'll be right back in a few short minutes. Stay tuned for 7 Train. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. Pitbullaudio.com. 
On the internet, your business's reputation can be unjustly destroyed in an instant. Don't wait for that to happen. Building and marketing your five-star reputation can increase your business by as much as 19%. Take control of your reputation and have the five-star reputation you deserve with Reputation Marketing Solutions by DSI Development. Become the go-to company by visiting 5 star rep marketing.com the number five star rep marketing.com has your business been appified are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention your app from upg mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips upg mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique targeting your message and improving your open rates Amplify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. You've heard me bragging about Progressive Medical Center and how they've helped me feel so much healthier. But one thing, Dr. Agoli, that a lot of people come to you with is just unexplained pain. They just can't get any relief. Why can Progressive Medical Center's Pain Management Center help them? First of all, we have to acknowledge that pain is for real and you've got acute pain and chronic pain. Here's the problem. That acute pain turns to chronic, which is longstanding, and no one's getting to the root cause. There's several key diagnostic components that help us get to the root of what's causing this pain. Is it inflammation? Once we do a thorough evaluation to get the root cause determine if it's structural or if it's a metabolic issue. And this way, we put an individualized program for pain management involving correcting the spine, using certain injections when necessary, and we get our patients out of pain quicker and they stay out of pain because we teach them how to live their life well. Don't let yourself live in pain any longer. Get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today at ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. Progressive Medical, this is your life, live it well. This is Bill Gruber with BizVid Communications, a Southern California video production leader. We've been honored to sponsor, produce, write, and host many of the fine programs on WS Radio over the years. So we understand how important the internet and your website exposure are. As video producers, we know the tricks and secrets to incorporate video to increase your search engine optimization and business success. Visit BizVidCommunications.com to see what we can do for you. B-I-Z-V-I-D Communications.com Talk Talk to me. WSRadio.com This is Radio Band, Diego. Your band's revealed with your host, Florentino Buenaventura. Oh, uh, yeah, we are in the third segment of Radio Band, Diego, powered by the mighty WS Radio Network, the worldwide leader in Internet Talk Radio, brought to you by SIR and Music Equipment Rental, or you can just get your gear. When you guys go out on tour again, make sure you talk to SIR because they're going to take care of you guys. They probably have. I mean, they do everybody. There's they just, have in the past. Yes, they are. They are definitely the big, big, big dogs. And then, of course, speaking of big dogs, pitbullaudio.com. <laughs> <laughs> you got to listen to Shark. Are, are you serious about your gear? Because these boys are serious about the gear. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Heck pitbullaudio.com yeah. will take care of you guys. They're down in National City. They're also online where they do actually most of the businesses online. We have uh, some really good friends, uh, Larry and uh, Margaret, over at Stars Line at StarsLineNow.com. They're raising the next crop of like the next generation of singers and talented performers, and they are partnered with California Music Studios in doing so. So, thank you guys. We're giving a shout out for you folks. We're here with Seven Train. Yeah. Yeah. The boys are back in town. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. Round we, three. Yes, we are. We <laughs> are talking about round three. We were just talking about influences, and uh, like I said, I'm, I'm very partial to the bass players. We get no love, do you know, I, I you know, know what I'm saying? You know, I, you ever see brother? there's that, uh, that, that little mime on the Internet that you know, shows how the lead singer has all the chicks, guitar player gets like a couple, drummer has that one solid one, and bass player sitting there with his bass. That's not right. That's yeah. just not right, man. It's okay because I got a wife at home with kids, so that's There you good. go. There you go. <laughs> Good answer. Good <laughs> yep. answer. Of course, his wife's in the studio right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, that helps out. <laughs> so, Dean, tell us who's your influence, brother. Uh, wow, I got a lot. Um, Go ahead, and yeah. I'll give you a little bass track. Uh, ready? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> it started off in 19... <laughs> no, actually, uh, Paul McCartney was one of my biggest influences along uh, John Ant Whistle. Uh, okay. Those guys, as a kid growing up, was just amazing. And um, what got me into metal was Frankie Bello from Anthrax and Steve Harris from Iron Maiden. Oh, yeah. And um, I started opening up to funk with Larry Graham, Flea, yeah. Victor yeah. Wooten. Yeah. Those are basically my... Oh, and Verdine White from Earth, Wind & Fire. Those are my main influences. We had Anthony Weller. 
Wellington on the show mm-hmm. yesterday, oh. who's the bass player for? Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. My, where, Sorry, I don't good. get. I don't get. I, I, I don't know, get. But I was really music. distracted. <laughs> Well, hey, the, and of course, uh, you, you, you know, you've got my man here as your, your other influence oh, for bass, right? So, no, we had Anthony Wellington on the show yesterday, who is Victor's uh, bass player, which is really weird that a bass player is going to have a bass player. Yeah. Yeah. But he, I guess he plays the bass while Victor's doing all the solo stuff that's so that he can keep all the bottom A stuff. And nice. so he's the only one that they figured out can do Victor. So that's why, you know, he does, you know, he's like Victor too. So that's pretty cool. Nice. He's, uh, he speaks on behalf of uh, Federa Basses. Shout out Very to board cool. for the folks in Federa Bases because they were on the show yesterday. Cool. So awesome, awesome influences. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, again, the, the diversity that you guys have in, in, in taste tells the, the, the true musicianship that you really are focusing on. So, And, uh, yeah, my man here, Joel, I'm going to say your last name, uh, Maytoza? That's close enough. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can go with that. So, Joel, tell us, who, who's your influences? Drum-wise? Yeah. Um... Boy, uh, probably a combination of. <clears throat> no, you can hear that in my mic. <laughs> what the hell? Um, probably the, the Tommy box. Aldridge, uh, a mix between Tommy Aldridge, Dean Castronovo, <laughs> uh, Buddy Rich, Neil Peart, of course, um, and countless other ones. I mean, just on and on and on and on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the. Did you, have you seen the movie uh, um, Whiplash? Yes. That that was an awesome movie. Yeah, Did I I could re- relate to a lot of that because I mean I talked to a lot of drummers, like professional drummers, about this, and they don't like that movie. They <laughs> said it absolutely is totally not even close to you know r- reality. Well, I yeah, I associated with it a lot because a lot of it was true in in my life. You know, I've I've been with band directors and stuff that have thrown things across the room <laughs> and petrified <laughs> the whole band. You know, and Dang and. Yeah. Yep. Asked for the best and, you know, had practiced so hard for, you know, 10, 12 hours a day that I had bloody hands. I mean, it's yeah, the blisters. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you that is actual reality, you know, and um, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's the, there's no, no getting away from that. But, yeah, I totally love the movie. I actually watched it like three times. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was awesome movie. But, yeah, as far as influences and stuff, I mean, I'm partial to guitar players, too, uh, you know, and bass players. I Started playing piano when I was, you know, really young. Um, Mom enrolled me into the Yamaha School of Music. I got my music degree and and diploma when I was six. Um, And then started, I started watching the Monkees, and I realized that the keyboard player never got any of the chicks. So, and Mickey (laughs) Dolenz was the only one out of the girls gravitated to, so I started playing drums. And then um, took private lessons for like six years and... Just kept going from there. Multi-talented, multi-instrumentalist, yeah. Yeah. So the question is, are you like Jeff who has a ton of gear? So I want to like segue a little bit, throw this out at Jeff. What kind of gear are you rocking, brother? Because you got a tone for days. Oh. Microphone. <laughs> um, I'll mix it up a little bit. I, I use you know various guitars, uh, you know, mostly Fender Strat, you know, uh, guitars. So you, and Strat. So you like the single coil then? Well, or you know, you, uh, you sometimes to... I do. Uh, a lot of them are like hot rod strats that okay. I've built myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you're... or uh, you know, help from you know friends and stuff like that. But uh, um, I got a few Gibsons. You know, I probably got about you know, uh, I guess I'm getting up to about like forty guitars right now. Wow. Um, and uh, it's, they're actually it's, propping it's... up his bed. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife is getting crowded. You know, right now. Um, but, uh, you know, for amps... She has to know, kick a Stratocaster out the bed every so often. Yeah, yeah, those damn things always sneaking up in there. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> He's got them in the bathroom, too. I, um... I, like, that's where, the, uh, that's where all amps. the inspirations come from, right? Exactly. Where all the perspiration what? comes from. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Marshall amps. Uh, Marshall amps, uh, Marshall cabinets, um, you know, various pedals, uh... Cry babies, this and that, all the silly named pedals. Um, Diodario strings, I've been using for ever. Are you guys since I are started. you guys endorsed by any of the, any, any of the companies? Me, not so much. I no. Um, Should be, you know. Yeah. Hook well, we me can, up, man. I've endorsed <laughs> with pasty, pasty cymbals and uh, Invader drumsticks, so I got to give them a shout out. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's uh, and you know it's 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 definitely an art form. It's main, mainly just contacting what I found. 
uh, each company has its own kind of uh, rule of thumb. You know, we've talked to a number of different companies, uh, Istanbul, Moment Symbols. We were just talking to Federa yesterday about bases, how they do get indoors. So it d depends, you know, what, uh, you know, kind of how you, how you approach them. But, yeah, I think you guys are amazing. I think there would be companies that would, would definitely be interested in, in having you guys. So thank you. We'll, we'll throw, you know, yeah, we'll, you. we'll throw the CDs, you know, at, at people that we know and we'll try to see what we can come up with. Can't guarantee anything, but, uh, you know. Cool. Uh, they'll, uh, that's really besides magazines and artists and us, there's no, no other way for, you know, the, the, uh, the manufacturers to get the word out about their gear. You know, so that's, that's pretty crazy. Right. So, my man Dino, what are you playing? What are you rocking, brother? Pig nose and a uh, uh, bass special from Sears with a built-in speaker. Awesome. Yeah. Silver tone, man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nah, I'll talk inside. Um, a I natural used distortion. <laughs> gets, a, gets the real bottom in. Yes. <laughs> and you can carry it. Uh, I use like uh, Ernie Ball four-string uh, Music Man. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, just the gear, I, uh, I've always been a big fan of Harky. So okay, okay. That's why I use uh, just yeah. basic four tens. Any pedals? Um, just the Mori wall pedal, and um, that's really it. <laughs> I really don't use my I'm, I, pedals. I built up a board, and, and yeah. Paul's just been giving me a hard time because I, I built it up this really beautiful board, and I, I plug in like one pedal now just because I'm so lazy to bring anything out to the gear. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, I mean, been playing for yeah. for so many years, never really had a need, need to. For, I, mean, yeah. I started um, of our last rehearsals with Seven Train. Um, every now and then I'll probably use something, but... I mean, if anything, extravagant is probably a, uh, a flanger, and that's about it. Yeah, but yeah. But kind of stop using that, too. Playing a little m uh, money from uh, uh, the OJs? Yeah, 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 I can do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My man, Joel, you, uh, you talked about a couple of the pieces of gear. What are you rocking? Um, I still have, I mean, currently I'm using a, a Pearl Masters kit. Uh -huh. um, I've been endorsed with Pasty Symbols since 1987. Oh, nice. So I reflected back and forth on all that stuff. Uh, mix and match um, constantly. Vader drumsticks, Danmar beaters, pretty much all I'm using right now. Uh, I was endorsed with Tama drums for a number of years, and I still have two double bass kits in my garage and road cases. Wow. So they're just taking up one three car garage, one side, there's just no make car. One massive yeah, kit. <laughs> it's just like stacked up. Um, but I pull it out occasionally and use it from time to time. Nice, nice. And my, my buddy John, is, do you have like a preference for microphone? Obviously, you, you rock the PA that's at the concert venue but uh yeah i mean for me i just i'm just like the sm 58 the beta 58s i've tried other mics for my voice uh, but that that mic just sounds great it's been around forever you know it's a great workhorse you can throw it and you yeah, know yeah, they, it, it, it takes they, a beating and it just keeps do. going they definitely do so we got about a minute left in this segment guys and then we're going to get back into the music which is what we love uh what do you want to share with the, the up-and-coming listeners right now that they should know about that you guys have discovered? Well, can we do that in 58 seconds? I don't know. Can you? Boy, I don't know. There's uh, San Diego needs to support their local music scene. Yes. They need to come yeah. out and promote and help and do whatever they can and come out to shows because if you don't, everything's going to go away and there's not going to be any entertainment left in San Diego except, you know, it's getting to the point where even national acts don't want to come through San Diego anymore. It's, yeah. it, honestly, I'm not kidding. They they totally skip San Diego and they either do L. A. or, you know, San Juan Capistrano or try to find a, a small place. And so, you really need to be supportive of the San Diego scene. And if you uh, find a band that you like and you dig their music, come out and see them. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't cost that much. And you know, we we appreciate it and and have you come out and come down and have a beer and say hi. Yeah, definitely. You got you guys got to make it out. Well, you guys are playing a lot of great concerts. You're going to say something, Dino? You got about eight seconds. I said we're a lot cheaper in SeaWorld. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and we're not as big. And you're not terrorizing. <laughs> you're not terrorizing uh, killer whales as much. Hey, this has been go. the Radio Ban Diego with Seven Train, having a great time here on a Sunday afternoon. We're going to be listening to some music here shortly. Want to thank our sponsors: SIR Music Equipment Rental, Pitbull Audio, PitbullAudio.com. Uh, Stars Line at Stars Line Now, and of course, California Music Studios. We'll be back with the boys talking about their next couple of tracks. Stay tuned for more. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, 
shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. On the internet, your business's reputation can be unjustly destroyed in an instant. Don't wait for that to happen. Building and marketing your five-star reputation can increase your business by as much as 19%. Take control of your reputation and have the five-star reputation you deserve with Reputation Marketing Solutions by DSI Development. Become the go-to company by visiting 5starrepmarketing.com. The number 5starrepmarketing.com. I raised $8,000 to build schools for South African children. After realizing how many people go hungry in San Diego, I now volunteer at a food pantry. I'm spending the next year doing volunteer projects across three countries and helping in ways they designate to be the most helpful. The World Link program at the Joan B. Kroc Institute for Peace and Justice recognizes the potential of youth as agents of social change. Learn how you can help youth become a generation of leaders in action at peace.sandiego.edu. You've heard me bragging about Progressive Medical Center and how they've helped me feel so much healthier. But one thing, Dr. Agoli, that a lot of people come to you with is just unexplained pain. They just can't get any relief. Why can Progressive Medical Center's Pain Management Center help them? First of all, we have to acknowledge that pain is for real and you've got acute pain and chronic pain. Here's the problem. That acute pain turns to chronic, which is longstanding, and no one's getting to the root cause. There's several key diagnostic components that help us get to the root of what's causing this pain. Is it inflammation? Once we do a thorough evaluation to get the root cause determine if it's structural or if it's a metabolic issue. And this way, we put an individualized program for pain management involving correcting the spine, using certain injections when necessary, and we get our patients out of pain quicker and they stay out of pain because we teach them how to live their life well. Don't let yourself live in pain any longer. Get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today at ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. Progressive Medical, this is your life, live it well. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwitch.com and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwitch.com. Talk. Talk to me. WSRadio.com. This is Radio Band Diego. Your band's revealed with your host, Florentino Buenaventura. Yes, this is Radio Band Diego. I love when Chris does that. <laughs> we are the, powered by the worldwide leader in internet talk radio, WS Radio Networks. And uh, we are brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rental, Pitbull at PitbullAudio.com, Stars Align at Stars Align Now, and California Music Studios. Look them up online. Check them all out. We've been here with Seven Train. Oh, these, yeah. These boys are badass. Oh, I said the word ass. But uh, that's because uh, my buddy John there said Punene. <laughs> <laughs> Panini. 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 Anyway, uh, you guys have such amazing, amazing music, and we're going to play a couple of t- tracks right now. I think we're going to queue up Never, if that's correct. And uh, before we do that, go ahead and tell us a little bit about Never, John. Well, Never is just a, one of those songs that's about you know being in a relationship, uh, a dysfunctional relationship where you've had enough, you know, and uh, you're just done, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so um, never, never again. that's the mantra of Never. <laughs> and uh, it's it's a fun song live, I think. This song is one of those songs when you see it live, you're like, this is a really cool song. I, I, I really like playing Just this song live. Just the crowd going. Yeah, I really love this song live. It's a lot of fun. Well, we're going to hopefully get the people listening going here. Go ahead and kick it off, Mr. Paul Berzetsky, my producer. And Crank it up. Good friend. <laughs> Feel it, feel it 
was seven train never make sure you guys never have a net relationship that never describes <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's it that's it so you know we, we're gonna rock some more music here so we've got uh uh the, the final song here go ahead and kick it off john oh this great this is uh how does it feel and uh thank you for putting that on my leg i don't know what that was but <laughs> thank you jeff how does it feel how does yeah, it, it feel? felt great <laughs> it felt really nice <laughs> but uh yeah, this is the song about the old gunslinger at the end of his days. Uh, I love this song. Um, I love the, like when we were working on this, uh, we worked a lot and ch- and we changed it up. And on the bridge, we extended the bridge. And, and I love the solo, you know, that Jeff does. And then Eric goes into a solo. It's awesome. I, I think it's great. Well, we're going to kick it off right now then.
incredible music by an incredible group of guys. Uh, you guys got to get out and see them. They're going to be playing with Saliva uh, over at the, uh, the, in the uh, Ramona main stage. We were just talking about that. This has been Radio Bandigo, powered by the mighty WS Radio Networks. Thanks to our sponsors, Pitbull Audio, PitbullAudio.com, SIR, Stars Align, StarsAlignNow.com, and California Music Studios. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beat, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. Progressive Medical. Hey, this is Heidi Rue, and you know, Progressive Medical Center has literally changed my life and my health, but I'm not the only one. Adele suffered from bone deterioration, bone overgrowth, profound muscle discomfort, physical exhaustion, and mental fog. In fact, the bone deterioration becomes so serious that she had to have back surgery. Well, after the surgery, she still didn't feel well, and so that's when she heard about Progressive Medical Center. Progressive Medical Center discovered that her adrenals weren't working properly, her hormones were out of whack, and the drugs she had been taking were doing more harm than good. Adele came into Progressive Medical Center in a walker, physically and mentally exhausted. But now she's a world traveler. She hikes and walks several miles a day. And it's all thanks to Progressive Medical Center. 770-676-6000. 770-676-6000. Progressive Medical. This is your life. Live it well. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. Do you want to be a professional coach? Are you in business trying to make a real difference with people you manage or work with? Have you started a coaching practice that isn't quite getting off the ground? Get the skills you need to be a successful coach today with the Coach's Training Program from Accomplishment Coaching. The Coach's Training Program will show you how to help others focus and be more fulfilled. Whether you want to improve your company's bottom line or create a thriving coaching practice, Accomplishment Coaching can give you the distinctions and practices you need to coach others effectively today. Accomplishment Coaching has spent six years developing a cutting-edge coaches training program that will have you ready to coach people professionally in just 12 months, and you don't have to take time off work to do it. To find out more about the coaches training program, just call 1-888-548-6813. That's 1-888-548-6813. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. Be sure to tune in weekly to VinVillage Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. 